Yo guys, Tanmay here for Simple Snippets back with another video tutorial on Boolean Algebra, Logic Gates, Key Maps and that tutorial series wherein we've covered all the concepts of Boolean Algebra and all. So in this video tutorial, we'll be focusing on Logic Gate, especially one gate which I've missed out in this playlist that is the XNOR gate. Now if you've been watching this video tutorial series, you must have seen we've covered almost all the gates and different Boolean Algebra concepts as well but then one of the users or subscribers of this channel recommended that I should cover the XNOR gate and I pretty much forgot to cover that gate so in this video tutorial we'll be discussing to through that particular topic and if you are new on this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel because there are a lot of information technology oriented video tutorials and more are coming soon so you'll get notified whenever i upload a new video tutorial so make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications as well so with that being said let's get started with today's topic so XNOR gate is not a basic gate, it is basically a combination of two gates that is the XOR gate and the NOT gate. Now we've extensively covered both these gates in this video tutorial which you can see on the top right corner. So if you don't know about these two gates, you can check it out. And we've also talked a bit theory about what logic gates are. So coming back to this topic, XNOR gate, you can see XNOR gate is a combination of XOR and NOT gate. So here you can see we have A and B as two inputs to XOR gate, then the output Y is equal to A XOR B. So this is a symbol of XOR. Now this output is now fed to a NOT gate as input. So you can see A and B or A XOR B is passed as an input to a NOT gate which takes only one input and it complements that input and it gives an output. So you can see the output is going to be complement of what an XOR gate is. So this is how an X, X NOR gate works or exclusive NOR gate works. So now let's see its truth table in little bit about the input and output scenarios. Okay so as you can see on the screen X NOR that is exclusive NOR gate performs logical XNOR operation which is exactly complement to an XOR operation and you can see the gate symbol is exactly similar to XOR gate however in XOR we did not have this bubble over here so this is an XNOR gate and if I go to the previous slide here you can see the XOR gate did not have this bubble over here but our XNOR gate has this bubble over here. So that is the only difference in the symbol and the output is exactly opposite or complement to the XOR gate. So let me read the output case which is written in English over here. So output Y is high that is the output Y is 1 if even number of inputs are high else it is low. So this is exactly opposite to the XOR gate. So in XOR gate the output is high if odd number of inputs are high otherwise it is low so the output expression is given as follows so y is equal to a x or b the whole complement which can be even simplified to a b the whole complement plus a b and a and b are the input values now taking the truth table into consideration let's say a and b is 0 0 since even number of inputs are high which means 0 0 number of inputs are high right so we don't have even one number which is 1 or one input which is 1 so that is 0 so 0 is even or considered as even that is why the output is high then these two we know that odd number of inputs are high so in the second case we have input b as high in the third we have input a as high so only one input is high so one is odd so that's why it is low and then lastly we have both the inputs high so two number or two inputs are high so two is even that is why the output is high so this is exactly opposite to xor gate and if you've seen that video you can see in xor it would be 0 1 1 0 and here it is 1 0 0 1 so basically that is the operation of a complement functionality which is offered by the NOT gate so NOT basically just reverses the input so that's how XNOR works so this was the basic theory and the truth table as well as the output expression of a XNOR gate or an exclusive NOR gate so yeah, that's it for this video guys. This was a short video but I wanted to cover the XNOR gate because it was requested by a subscriber. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it to your friends and make sure you subscribe to this channel. Peace.